You're allowed to breathe heavily when you're searching for Russian landmines. When you're clawing at the earth to find unexploded weapons. And scouring enemy trenches for what they choose to leave. We just found a, a booster from an artillery shell. Every munition, every mine we pull out of the ground is, regardless, a, a life saved. CJ was in the British Army for seven years and has come to help Ukraine's National Police Bomb Disposal Team. Their work is extensive, but their tools basic. We don't, we don't really have any kit to do our job. That's, that's the problem. You've probably seen some of the guys that don't have body armor, they don't have helmets. Um, some of them don't even have boots. There's too much to manage. I mean, there's, there's only 300 of us across the country. And 60 of them are responsible for clearing the area around Kyiv, where Russian troops left their mark. These dugouts were Russian fighting positions, and we've been told that anywhere in this area there could be booby traps or mines. Despite the dangers, this work has to be done. It's down to us whether farming can continue, whether people can get back to work, whether hospitals and schools can reopen and normal life can resume. Of course, me and my whole team are at risk, but we understand that risk. What they've recovered in this region alone already is staggering. Around 85,000 unexploded devices have been found by our unit. In playgrounds, fields, streets and inside homes. In amongst their hall are cluster bombs, which were banned internationally four years ago. Then they took us to see what they do with what they find, but kept us at a safe distance. When one of these explosions goes off, the shock waves go right through your body. And these kinds of devices are what are being left behind to destroy lives and maim civilians. The total destruction of these weapons means they can harm no more. Lucy Watson, ITV News in the Kyiv region, Ukraine.